Hello, trying not to fail tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years, Edge's Tale, with Izayoi and me, Blue Ankylo. So, um, off camera I got back to where we died last time, and I got us a couple levels up just to try to prevent that from happening again. Um, we're at exact- I'm pretty sure exactly the same point where we, um, we came out last time, and we're probably just a couple levels higher than we were when we died. Um, I didn't have the same problem. I actually bought the shinobi gear in town this time instead of the whip. And, uh, seeing as we got the crossbow and the ice arrows for free, I figured we might as well just buy the better armor. Uh, otherwise, nothing's different. We have learned one new spell, which costs, like, all of our MP, which is kind of scary, but, uh, you know, there's that. Other than that, nothing new, really. Yeah, I haven't been murderized yet, so hopefully it won't happen this time. Approximately this point where we come out of that doorway is when the enemies seem to get stronger. So, um, not every battle, but, um, the battle that killed me with the gargoyle and the, uh, slightly stronger eagles. These guys, the cliff eagles. The cliff eagles aren't that tough. It's just, if you, if you get tornadoed down to one HP, <laughs> there's not much you can do unless you can run away in time, so. It was a pretty nasty combo that got us last one. This battle, like... If I'm unlucky, well, I guess as long as we can one-shot them, maybe we're fast enough now. I don't know, a couple levels up makes a pretty big difference with your speed. But if you got ambushed, I could see being killed before you got a turn still. But, um, I mean, it's fine, I don't know. I don't remember exactly how I died last time, but... Tornado plus insta one damage hit and you're gone, so... Anyway, things are fine now. As you can see, they don't even seem to get a turn, really. Ah, uh, there you go. I mean, maybe... Maybe our defense and evasion is high enough that we're a little bit safer, but... Uh... Okay, well, there's stairs and a room. Oh, this is how close I was to being able to save it. I wonder if I should equip that. Oh, that's the whip we could have bought in town. It's actually not that great. Nah, forget that. I will save it, though, so that if something horrible happens, we'll be fine. I think we're already at a higher level than Gecko or the other guy. <laughs> the Zed guy. So, um, that's a thing. I, I, I did have to level grind a little bit. Well, I didn't have to, but seeing as we had a death on camera, right? A zoo? Actually, you know what? I haven't actually tried Illusion yet, so let's see what this does. Oh, it's just a little dance? He's uninterested. Aww. Let's see what... Well, we know what Flood's gonna do. It's not gonna be that great. We're in a lowered effect special ability phase of the moon, so... Probably not that great. Basically, auto-battling to victory or loss. Ooh, definitely hits pretty hard. Luckily, she seems really, really quick, so we should be getting a couple hits in for every time he gets an attack. Yeah. Yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah, they built an entire tower just to train somebody. Intensely powerful monsters. Ooh. But who could control such monsters? So I guess I was really close to the end of Izayoi's um, section last episode, but because we died, I had to split the battle, split the episode up a little bit. That was a really short dungeon for her. Are you just gonna jump off the top of the tower? That would be silly. Oh, we're gonna go steal Palum's boat. <laughs> oh, we actually have to get out of here. Okay. Ooh. wonder if there's anything secret back there. I thought that was the end of the dungeon, but no. I found a, a white fang and a high potion. Well, at least there was something back there. Something for our trouble climbing this tower. 
I am a little bit scared every time I run into these gargoyle eagle fights. I'm like, what if we get wiped again? How will I ever reconcile it? <laughs> well, I'm not sure what, like, enormous monster presence she was sensing. I don't remember the top of the tower being that difficult with Palom and Leonora either, but whatevs. Whatevs! I don't think we have any of the escape items, do we? Maybe I should have bought some. Well, let's save it, just in case. Seeing as I have seen the combo that can one-shot us, let's not be... Let's not be hasty. Oops. Once we get to that next floor, we should be fine. We won't see cliff eagles and gargoyles on the lower half, I don't think. Wow, encounter rate. Definitely my top gripe for this game, this the entire After Years as a whole, is that the encounter rate seems a little bit insane. Not every dungeon or every map, but some places like this one are just... It's like every couple steps sometimes. I'm pretty sure we've had it where I took one step after a battle and got into another battle before. <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's a little bit much. Yeah, we just fight. Once you go through that, whatever the transition about halfway through is, that's where it gets difficult on the way up. Alright. Trials complete. <laughs> just jump up the side of the thing. I mean, they built the tower. They obviously put those doors and uh, ladders up there on the outside. They must have meant for someone to use them and pick up that treasure, right? So how are we going to convince these hardened sailors to travel with us? Yes, but... Missidia? Not anymore, it isn't. Oh, right, sure. What man of the sea would turn down a pretty lady like you? You're not going to wait for Palum to come back? Ah, oh, they're just tired of that jerk. The land of Eblin. Just hijack this boat to go wherever we want. Eblin's not exactly on the way to Mesidia. I mean, it's sort of nearish, I guess. Capitan! Don't tell me it's Leviathan. We should not be by Leviathan. Oh, just the tower. Go faster. Oh, if it's just a matter of money. Just as long as you don't go anywhere near that tower. Eblin, the the continent Eblin is on, is the con the tower is on. I don't know why everyone's so scared of that tower. What has that tower done to anybody? Like, <laughs> that tower's never caused anyone any problems, right? <laughs> Alright. Well, time for Sukinawa. I guess he went to Mesidia. What kind of mage is he going to be? That's all for today, kids. Thanks for watching. Oh, you gotta do your spin! And your hop. And then your scatter of dash. Lapin? Oh, that's his name. Oh, you're not a very good black mage trainee. Really? Well, so far all the other ninjas have had at least a little bit of sort of magical ability of some sort. <laughs> You're not my real dad. 
Oh. Maybe this isn't Tsukinawa. Ah, it's all just a ruse. Oh, it's the back to the camera, white mage. You again. What is it? It's a boy. Give him some cure. That's right. Give me some of the good stuff. Give me some cure, baby. <laughs> Poor him's gonna see right through his clever disguise. Lady. Get back to work, Professor. Sounds important. Totally. Uh, yeah, totally. That's my name. You're hiding something? <laughs> yes, unsurprisingly, real characters can see right through. Yeah, that's all. I just got a toad. I hope that's it. <laughs> she grew up with Porum the liar and braggart. I'm sure she sees through this punk's lies. No problem. Make sure you give back those vegetables. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, lady. <laughs> that would have been the correct response. <sighs> yeah, you better watch out. She's gonna catch on that Eblen is spying on her. Wow, we're even weaker as Tsukinawa than we were as uh, the girl, whatever her name was. Oh, at least we got someone with a double knife. Uh, some boring armor and some... Oh, gloves and armlets, sure. Oh. Kodachis are better than kunai. Good, there you go. We've got, uh... I guess, wind magic. Maybe Mirage is like Blink. That might be the one I was thinking of before. Very, very speedy and useless at anything else. Wow. I don't, I already dislike this kid. Welcome to Mysidia. No, I refuse. Yeah, we already got the Kodachis. The boomerangs are worse, so nope. No thank you, mister. I guess we should buy something here. I feel like we're pretty lacking in uh, defensive stats, so... Um, I'd rather go with the steel headplate. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm sure we could sell some stuff if I needed to. Yeah, that's better than we started. Oops, I was going to talk to this guy. Two people entered the Devil's Road. Hmm. That would be Theodore and the Hooded Man, I believe. You can cast Toad? No. I refuse to be your guinea pig. Yeah, we don't need any of that stuff, probably. Well, some potions might not hurt, seeing as we have no healer, but yeah, it'll be fine. Just looking around. Probably not much to do, really. Please do not cast Toad or Pig on others. <laughs> Fire's fine. Something's always afoot. Ooh. So this definitely happens after Theodore's Tale, at least. You better stay away from Mount Ordeals. That sounds like that means we're going to be stuck going there for the third time. 
You can't ever go in there, not even for fun. Does that mean I'm going to be going in there for fun? <laughs> Where's the old lady that jumps into the forest when you talk to her? That little scamp. <laughs> I mean, Missidia is full of white mages. they probably pretty under their big robes. Right? Sorry, kid. A very important meeting. So how do we sneak in? It's got to be a way. If there's a will, there's a way. I have no idea how. Well, we fail at sneaking in. I tried. Maybe we go look at the uh, Tower of Babel from over here? They did mention this, right? That's why we're only level 5. We're just acting like a child. <laughs> I already have all the ninjutsu I need. I have two spells already. I don't need to learn anything. You could learn a thing or two while you're here. Alright, well, that's that. Now, what about that meeting? Hmm. hmm I actually don't know. Where, where do we go? Spend the night? It's unlikely to be what you need to do, but sometimes passing time works for these kind of games. But... Wouldn't get my hopes up too much. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? I mean, they've told us to stay away from the Devil's Road, the Tower of Ordeals, and the Meeting. Um, those are all places we could check. I guess we could go the mountain. Maybe he should... Maybe we're supposed to be checking out on the crashed airship or something. Uh, let's put a save in just in case we get one shot out here. I'm not convinced that Sukinawa is ready for battle right now. So where did we crash? Wasn't it somewhere around here? I thought the crashed airship was somewhere like that. It definitely appears that when you're still in your disguise, you're immune to random battles for some reason. It should be, yeah. Is it maybe here? I don't know where we crashed line of the airship. Maybe they cleaned it up by now. I don't have any business here. Well, I tried. So... Hmm. I guess, I mean, obviously we need to get into that meeting, but... How? Oh, I bet you I know how I should have. I bet you you get the kid to cast Toad on you, and then you sneak in because you're a frog. <laughs> I bet you that's it. I should have. I should have thought of that first. It makes total sense. All right, kid, go for it. Yeah, good work, kid. Now, sneak in here. Maybe we can swim. Just swim up that waterfall. No. Wow, that's a really good guard. There's someone who's looking like a frog. They know people can cast toads, so it's just someone who's been turned into a toad, and he runs away. <laughs> I'm sure they didn't see us. Crystals again, huh? Can we not have history repeat itself? The greatest black mage of Mysidia. He's not that great, guys. He doesn't even know Firiga. 
It would really be a repeat, yeah, probably. You know, white magic has the holy spell too, it's pretty awesome. And haste and slow and all kinds of cool stuff. How else should we respond to the moon's return? By freaking out! Alright. Mount Ordeals. Oh yeah, we knew she went there. That's where she meets Cain. Even though we haven't done her tale yet. But we've seen it. I won't do anything rash. I'm just going to go look for some Dragoon. I guess she would do quite well on Mount Ordeals because they're all undead and she's kind of the white mage mostly. I mean, with no offensive magic, it would still suck. Yeah, it might wind up being nothing. Totally. Even though the second moon has come back. Alright, well, I guess we've got a job to do now. Untoed me. Thanks, kid. Alright. Now, let's go to Mount Ordeals. I just jumped the gun a little bit by going there early. Still, at level 5, I don't think we're ready for Mount Ordeals. <laughs> we're gonna get crushed. I hope they're really gentle on us. We got, like, no stats. Good luck, kid. A windy mountain for a windy ninja. One step, one battle. Back attack. Killed. Well, that's not quite what happened, but... That's what I was expecting. Wow, we can use Gale twice. And why would we? Oh, this guy is terrible! <laughs> wow. And I did give him the better swords. Like, there's no better weapon. Like, if you picked this guy's tail first, you couldn't even have... Well, I guess you could have bought them, but... You wouldn't have had the money to even buy him these. Well, he got two levels up in one fight, so... You better get better fast, kid, because you're not very strong. Alright, that's a little bit better. Have you noticed the bottom of his braid is blue? Like, most of his hair is purple, except the bottom of it's blue. Oh, he gets healing magic too, that's nice. Okay, so wind magic gets you a bit of healing. I can't be running away from even the easy battles right now. We need the levels up. I need them XP. All the corpses here. Oh, that's terrible. I hope we can kill a navy moth. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Ah, it's not so bad. In the navy. All you get is a high potion. Well, that sucks. Seriously? Freaking mount ordeals. Who set up all these traps for us anyway, right? Um... I'm considering going back to the Chocobo Forest and trying to find a white Chocobo. I think there'll be a white Chocobo there. Let's go do that quick. Before we get into, like, a more dangerous area of the dungeon. There it is. Alright, we're good to go. Now I can do some more healing with the heal pill if I need to, and I don't have to resort to potions and stuff right away. Okay. Last time we fight these zombies, yeah, it was a little bit sad. This is a bit better. I mean, he is pretty fast, so he gets his turn really quick, but, uh... 
Man, that first fight, I was getting a little scared. Still can't quite kill all the spirits. So, for interest's sake... Yeah, his strength, his growth is, it's growing, like the stats are going up, but his strength and intellect are pretty weak. That's why he's probably not going to do much damage with his magic or ninjutsu. With, with really low intellect, it's just not going to stack up very well. Har har har. Also, I haven't even checked, does he have any like, oh he can steal, oh that's great. Let's try this again. Eh, it's not terrible, I guess. Um, I'm rarely a fan of stealing stuff, especially when you only have one character. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder if someone's following me. <laughs> Exclamation part. If she turns around and he's hiding underneath a box, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> She's got eagle eyes. I guess she knew better- oh, this is terrible. This could be the death of us right here. This is how our- our girlfriend died. Alright, we're- we're fine. As long as he can't combo. Tornado and, uh, just some damage. Green Beret, you say? Ah, that's an upgrade. Yeah, we're up to three times multiplier. Yeah, our- our damage is gonna start getting pretty good now, I think. Uh, treasure? One of these directions will have some treasure. I don't like this. Every single uh, treasure chest has monsters guarding it. Who made that rule, huh? Metal boomerang? That's metal. Well, that might mean I can put him in the back row without any damage loss now. I think as long as one of your weapons is ranged, you can do full damage from the back row. That was the way it worked in Final Fantasy IV, the original, I believe. It was more damage, right? I didn't even really look. Yeah, two. Not much, but... This was the... no, not quite the bridge. Hide in the shadows. Palum? Are you following me? <laughs> Some sneaky little brat. She's got this sense. She's probably been pranked so many times. She's just got this ingrown sense. When some young prankster of a child is coming up on her. I don't think I've ever fought a blue flying eyeball. They may also take extra damage, like flying monsters often take extra damage from ranged weapons in uh, the Final Fantasy games. So that could be working in our favor too. Yeah! Alright, Sukinawa is doing okay. Thanks to his crazy speed and adequately good damage growth. He's, he's okay, yeah, he's okay. Surprise! I mean, we're getting like two to three hits in before the enemies even get a turn now, so... Yeah. When you can almost clear an entire group just with auto battle before they even get a chance, that's pretty solid. Well, might as well use a tent. Not that we've got a ton to spare, but I'm pretty confident we'll be able to finish this tale in a minute or two. So we'll keep going. Level 15 seems to be approximately where all these little uh, side tales get completed. Besides, we're at the top of the mountain anyway, so. I mean, at least we're seeing some new monsters on this this guy, like... They're not particularly challenging, but I'm quite certain we're fighting new stuff, at least. 
wonder where Pelham went. <laughs> Almost expected her to be hiding in the chest. <laughs> Surprise! I caught you! <laughs> that would be the way to do it. Just don't use Tornado and we're okay. Yeah, thanks. Ooh, look at all that XP. Barely better, but... Actually, you know, it probably gives them some stats, so it's probably better. A stone monument? Also, how do we get here before Palum? She must have been hiding somewhere. Yeah, or sorry, Porum, whatever, you know, the, you know what I mean. Maybe speed this up a little bit. Although, it's not really worth it, I guess. Uh-oh. So even from Mount Ordeals, halfway across the world, we can see the Tower of Babel glowing. I'm not quite sure why everyone is so freaking out when the tower starts to activate and flash, but... So are we just gonna swim across the ocean? So I actually have to work my way back down. Well, I don't know what happened to Porum. We actually haven't fought our boss yet, so let's see. Seems like every one of these uh, ninja tails has had at least one boss fight. Eh, let's just speed this up. We're already at 30 minutes. we got to get out of here. Crazy encounter rate. I'm done with you. Wow. When every map, where every area has like 10 battles to get across it. Slight exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Ambush just as we leave, maybe? Nope. Well, let's go pick up a chocobo and uh, get to the other side. I mean, I'm still expecting a uh, some something of a boss fight before we're done here. I'm also not really sure how we're planning on getting back to Eblin. Theoretically, you could take Devil's Road and end up in Baron, but that doesn't really help you get to Eblin very well. But maybe if we go to the Cape, we can just uh, swim across. Back to Eblin, seriously? Thanks, Miss Idia, it was fun. I'm just gonna go swim across the ocean now. I mean, walk across the ocean. What? What? So he can walk on water, huh? <laughs> Alright. I guess we got no boss that time. Well, maybe the last treasure chest. That was the, the official boss. Alright folks, we're going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to finally get to Edge on Edge's tail. I realize it's taken a while, but uh, something to look forward to for tomorrow. Hope you guys are enjoying. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you, out.